and welcome back to my channel. It's time for another first impressions video and today I'm going to be uh, doing a first impressions on Storybook Cosmetics. If you haven't heard of them, where have you been? And if you have, good for you! Um, if you haven't though, um, basically Storybook Cosmetics was created and is run by three beautiful blonde triplets who have a love for all things sort of nerdy, geeky, book related, fandom related, and wanted to make makeup that represented some of their favourite fandoms. Now, they kind of um, exploded, if you if you will, on, uh, on social media because they decided they were going to make some Harry Potter inspired wand makeup brushes. So, me being the um, Harry Potter loving nerd that I am, I even have a Harry Potter top on today, yay! Um, so me being the Harry Potter nerd that I am, I absolutely love this idea and as soon as they had their first pre-order wave I was right on top of that and, um, and managed to get myself some of these very beautiful brushes. They come in this gorgeous black velveteen bag um, with the Storybook Cosmetics logo on. They came wrapped in this beautiful, I had to keep the paper because it's so pretty, um, Storybook Cosmetics paper which is beautiful um sadly these particular brush these particular brushes won't be made again um for one reason or other i don't want to misquote them so i don't want to say exactly why because i will probably misquote them and it'll be a horrible mess but basically they're not allowed to make the this particular style anymore they do have some more wand brushes coming out it's just it's not in the exact same style as these ones so these ones are very much unique and very much limited edition they are very beautiful they're very heavy this is the angled liner brush that comes with them here's a kind of angled fluffy blending brush and a beautiful end to that. A wider blending brush. This is the flat shadow brush and it's probably my favourite because it has the most ornate ending to it. So this particular set won't be made again so it is limited edition but I thought I'd do a first impressions video anyway. I should really do probably some uh, Harry Potter inspired makeup but I think I'll leave that for another video. Um, so on this occasion it's just a general first impressions. I'm going to use all of these brushes to create a makeup look. Um, sort of a kind of see how it turns out sort of thing um, and uh, let's get right into it. So I've already primed my eyelids with Urban Decay's Primer Potion. The palette we're going to be using today to help me decide whether or not I love or don't love the Storybook Cosmetics wand brushes um, is the Ice Cream Palette by Dose of Colours. Ice cream. Um, I absolutely adore this palette. It's got some great colours in it. So we're just going to dive into that and um, have a look and create a look using the brushes. Uh, this is what the palette looks like. So these are the colours we're going to be working with today. As you can see, I've used mint chip um, quite a bit. Um, but we're going to dive in and try and make a look using this palette. I'm going to dive in using the pencil brush first. It's got a beautiful rounded tip and it feels quite soft. So hopefully it'll work quite well. I'm going to dip into um, into hot fudge first, which is this dark chocolatey brown, and use that first. It's quite difficult getting used to the weight of the brushes because most brushes that you have aren't as heavy as these on the end. So it is quite interesting trying to use it um, without like putting too much pressure on. I think it's quite heavy. Well, the brush itself, the bristles are quite packed in tight, so it's quite hard to to manoeuvre on the eye, and that could also be down to the weight of the brush as well. Um, 
as you can see the application is quite messy with the, this brush um the pencil brush uh, i find that it's quite hard to maneuver on the eye and it sticks quite a bit um it doesn't seem to want to work with the product very well um it's it doesn't blend as nice as i'd i'd like it to um which is quite disappointing really um i'm hoping that it's just because i'm not used to such a heavy weighted brush but it um it definitely has hasn't done the lines evenly it hasn't really given it um a nice soft blend which is what i wanted so hopefully the blending brush that i use next will really help with that next i'm going to use the angled fluffy blending brush and i'm going to dip that into blueberry swirl and try and soften up some of these really harsh lines that i've got from the pencil brush Again, I feel this brush is maybe, I like, I prefer the weight of this brush. This brush isn't as heavily weighted down. But I feel that the the brush itself, the brush tip, is maybe a little bit too big for my eye. Um, because I've got hooded eyes and my eyes aren't particularly, my eyelid spacing isn't great. Um, I feel like this brush is probably a bit too big for me personally. But I could easily use it on someone who has... Um, better lid spacing than I myself sadly um, lack. <laughs> it's definitely working to kind of soften the harsh uneven line that I had from the pencil brush. I think I just used that pencil brush for perhaps doing nice dark smoky under eye um, because it is so heavy um, and the brush kind of sticks a little bit when you're trying to do stuff. So I think for doing maybe like underneath I think it might be perfect for that however i'm not sure that i want to be using it on my crease so as you can see it's blended quite well so i do really like the angled blending brush i'm now going to go in with the fluffy blending brush um again this one has a lighter end to it so i feel like i'll be able to control this a little bit better and i feel that i i quite like all these little holding bits here that actually help me to hold the brush a little bit easier so I'm going to go in with berries and cream, which is a really light colour, and just kind of blend it on the out sides here, um, just to kind of soften up the look a little bit. I definitely love this brush. Um, it is so soft. It works really well. Blends easily. I'm barely having to put any work into this blend, so I am really liking this blending brush. It may become one of my new favourites. Again, the brush itself is quite big for my particular eye, but um, definitely if you've got really like, really good um, eyelid spacing, if you've got a lot of lid, um, these are going to be perfect for you. Um, again, this particular set will not be coming out again. Um, but they are making other wand brushes and hopefully they've taken on some of the constructive criticism that from the first set of brushes and put them into their second set of brushes. So the second set of brushes could be even better than this particular set now. Next I'm going to take the flat eyeshadow brush. Again this has got a beautiful um, end to it but it is quite heavy so I'm not sure how this will work for me. Hopefully it'll be alright and it won't be too weighty. I'm going to go in with mint chip, my favourite, and just put that on the lid. I think with a bit of practice I'd probably get better at using this particular brush, it's just because it is so weighty at the end. So it's a little bit difficult to manoeuvre it how I'd like to manoeuvre it without it kind of appearing a little bit scratchy and a little bit streaky. So now that's all the shadows done, um, I'm going to take Jeffree Star's liquid lipstick in Weirdo and use it as eyeliner. And I'm going to use the angled liner brush to try 
and do a winged liner. It is reasonably heavy at the end, um, but it's not too heavy. So I'm hoping that that doesn't affect the way that I can create like a wing. So uh, fingers crossed. <laughs> winged liner is difficult enough as it is. So fingers crossed um, and hopefully this turns out okay. It is a very big angled um, liner brush. I prefer mine to be a little bit smaller so I can do um, more fine detail work. Um, but hopefully this isn't too bad. Let's give it a go. It's, it's difficult trying to think of where I can hold this because of how heavy it is. Yeah, this is very, very big. Um, this is not great for me, I don't feel. I'm going to have to do like so much clean up work on this. Uh, yeah. I'm not loving this for doing a uh, winged liner at all. Um, I'm not loving this. Uh, it might be fine for shadow work. Um, and maybe things like that but uh, this is not working out for me at all um, with regards to this wing liner so I'm gonna have to try and fix this um, but no uh, not loving this for doing anything like wings or, or anything like that it might be okay for a lip brush possibly but not for wings okay so I just had to go and wipe all of that off so um, I think for Storybook Cosmetics wand brushes I'm going to give them a 6 out of 10, I'm afraid. Not a very high rating. I love the blending brushes. I love the blending brushes. They're very soft. They work very well. I do love them. However, the other three, um, the eyeshadow brush is quite scratchy and hard to use. Uh, the pencil brush, again, gets stuck when you're trying to do things. It doesn't give you nice, soft, clean um, strokes and the eyeliner uh, brush for me is too big it doesn't help me to do what I want it to do um, but I mean they look beautiful I mean they look beautiful and I love them and I will keep them because they're beautiful um, but they are pricey I don't think they're worth as much as um, they're being sold for um, but then again, it is a small company and it is a, you know, family owned, very small company. So maybe in the future they won't be charging as much for it. Um, but I think that for me, it's a little bit overpriced um, for the quality that you're getting. Um, and I was really so, uh, I've been so excited to use these. Um, they are beautiful. They look beautiful. I just feel that functionality wise, um, it's a little bit of a letdown. And I think more could have been put into some of the other brushes. But I love the blending brushes. Um, and I love the way they look. And they're so pretty. I just, yeah, functionality wise for me personally is a bit of a letdown. So only a 6 out of 10 for Storybook Cosmetics wand brushes. Thank you for joining me for this video. I hope that you've enjoyed it and you found it helpful. I will leave the link to Storybook Cosmetics down below for both their website and their Instagram. They've got some absolutely amazing things coming out in the future and fingers crossed um, they are worth it. Um, I love the idea and I love the concepts that they've got going on. It's just the wand brushes kind of let me down a little bit. Um, and maybe it was just the hype. I just got too hyped up about it. <laughs> um, so hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave it a like and a thumbs up and say hi in the comments. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. Um, but make sure you hit that notification button. Otherwise, you won't get notified when I upload. Whatever you're doing for the rest of today, I hope you have a fantastic day. And I will speak to you soon. Okay, bye.